Hi, it's Derpy Moose 99 This is uh, Bamboozled, Banished with Mega Mod 9. And this will be episode 6, if I don't uh, accidentally delete the recording again. Um, which I've done several times now. Let's have a look at where we're at. Uh, cliffhanger in the last episode, we're in a food crisis here, which is, you know, par for the course with me. We have a pretty healthy sized town. Considering we're out of any starts, I'm quite happy with that. Of course, we've been taking a lot of nomads in, which only makes sense in a, a genetic kind of diversity sense and all that kind of good stuff. Um, yeah, food graph is the big problem right now. So we've just added a fishing dock there. I don't think it's pr uh, produced a little bit already. And we've added a fishing dock here. Two different dog sets, so I want to see actually which one produces more. Now we do have to remember this has a, this is a four-person dock. The other one's a three-person dock. So I kind of suspect these ones are going to be uh, producing more. But there's houses in fairly close proximity proximity to both, so it should be a fairly fair test, I think. Uh, we're trading in firewood and our fuel is looking pretty good. We're making bamboo here. We are bamboozled was the name of the town. Um, so the forests are all bamboo forests and uh, we're growing bamboo and uh, making it into fire bundles in a bundling shed here. Although we need a bunch more of those bundling sheds, which we'll build once we have uh, food under control. Um, Additional food sources we're working on here is we're going to do some of these hunting blinds here, four of them. And uh, yeah, there's perfume in both of the traders. So we're trading firewood and perfume, I should say, yeah. And I think we just dismissed that trader, yeah, so he's gone. So we're doing diverse dock sets here. So this dock set's over in that lake. Um, this dock set's over here. This is the third hour I'm streaming, so I haven't had a chance to uh, check out the canal set, which I'm going to do after this episode. Um, and before I stream again, I'll figure out how to do a canal there. And so the main focus right now, other than hoping we don't kill too many people in a starvation event, is um, getting some farms and orchards going, and I think also some pastures. Um, so I think I'm going to do the same kind of model I did in... Um, I can't remember if it was Grow Bigger. Yeah, Grow Big, I think. Where we did um, field and pasture size of 15 by 15. So I'm going to intermix um, orchards, farms, and pastures in a big mosaic here. This is my current plan. Um, although I'm probably going to start with crop fields just because they'll produce the quickest and uh, try and get us out of that bad uh, food curve there. So I'm going to stay paused here for a few minutes while we lay out um, a bit of building here. Now I'm trying this different housing set. And um, in the theme sets here, these ones are from, this one just says build a unique wood, wood house. Um, I've both been mostly using the stone houses here. They don't necessarily fit with a good size for the town builds here though. So, I did turn on a lumber, uh, lumber supplier, lumber maker, I guess you could say. So, I think I'm going to just, I'm kind of, I'm going to kind of go back to uh, salt box houses just for a few here. Just because they fit way better in this kind of layout. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And that'll just sort of delineate where we're going to start with our farms. So I'm uh, I'm going to spend a couple minutes and put in a bunch of farms and stuff. So be a, I know it's the start of the episode, but it'd be a good time to go refresh your tea or something if you want. Or if you're watching on YouTube, you can skip ahead a bit here. But here we go. We need these farms, so I got to do it. Yeah, I think 15 by 15. And I'm going to road them up just so um, 
everything lines up here. Okay, I'm going to take those roads up just so we can build the next layer there. A bit of a guideline. Um, I really would like to alternate orchards and uh, crop fields. But I think I better lay... Um, and I'm going to lay in eight crop fields. So... We'll go back later once we recover and, and do a proper mosaic here, but because our food graph is looking so bad, I think we need to go all crops, so not the way I would normally do it, but we'll start at least with eight crop fields here. And uh, here... Probably should start from down here. Where's our road there? Okay. Okay, those are eight pretty big fields laid in. Let's, um... Okay, let's let this run here. We're going to do some roads and we're going to do... What we're really going to need here is going to be stockpiles so we can clear all these fields off. Okay, I'll check the trader in a minute or two. Actually, I just might pause while we do that. Um, okay, I'm going to put storehouses in. stockpiles between them. So it's a six by five, the way that works out. All right, and to help facilitate, or, uh, facilitate this, I'm gonna prioritize the stockpiles. All right, let's go look at the trader. And you're set up and you've auto-traded, so you can go away. And we have one duck blind up. Okay, that must mean we, we're getting some reeds from somewhere, because our reed farms haven't built yet. Okay, let's put those over there so we know when those come up. We need reeds to build the duck blinds, or the hunting blinds, so... need at least one of those working. Okay, that's a lot of material to clear here. Hopefully we can get some of these fields planted before um, we're ready for the springtime, I guess. Food is kinda iffy. Okay, as soon as one of these stockpiles builds, I'm gonna prioritize the, uh, the reed farms there. So we can get more hunting blinds going. Oh, there's one. Okay, let's go back over to our dock area. Get that built. Okay, once we get some reeds going, we'll prioritize the hunting blinds and then we'll go back and prioritize the, the fields over there. And let's see if we can survive. Little hope in the way that curve's moving there. That'll be those fishing dogs we added. Okay, there's one reed farm. Hunting blinds don't take much, but we need uh, more than we're just casually clearing off here. And we want to get reeds going anyways for bundles, fire bundles, and coats, so... Okay. Let's prioritize the last two. Yeah, food's now 500-ish, that's not good. Um... 
Maybe we should prioritize this um, seafood farm there. Okay, another reed farm. This hunting blind's almost built. One more reed and we're good to go there. Okay, this one's got 20. Okay, so let's prioritize the seafood farm and the hunting blinds. Gonna have to try and keep our building in the short term here to food related only. We probably need to build houses, but if we don't have the food, um, there's going to be houses come available. So, okay, hunting blind there. Um, you're all set up. How much iron do we have? 166. Um, hmm. Why don't we actually do a bulk buy of iron? Say 220 perfume. 10 firewood. Okay, and let's switch our two blacksmiths over to iron here. That makes a heck of a lot more sense than rough tools. Alright, and we've got our seafood. Did I have two in each of those? No, I didn't. That would be a derp. Oh, okay. One had two. Now they all have two. Okay. Um, crawdads, what's this one on? This is on shrimp. Um, clams, oysters, crabs, let's go crab. And our last reed farm, okay. Two more hunting blinds, and we're out of people. Okay, down to two builders, and let's put in a couple hunters here. Alright, uh, food is back over a thousand which is still scary as all heck um let's prioritize at least these four closest fields um it's late winter we're not going to get it are we by spring okay four fields and the barns let's do that um it probably could pause these houses you know make sure our focus is on food production for the moment and then we'll build those for the farmers once we get the fields going not sure if we still need our halfway transit house here but um we can actually we remember see how old the student gets i believe the further you are from a school the longer you stay in school so that might be actually an interesting experiment 17, you should be graduating by 17 or 18 at the latest. Beef cows, oh man, I wish I had a pasture, but I do not. Okay, just out of curiosity, what's our food graph? Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, you know, we do have banana seeds, so that's a thing we can do, too, if we want to. Hmm. Now I gotta remember whose build set that was in. Yeah, I don't think they were in there, were they? No, that was the farmyards. Although that's something we could do, too. Okay, were those red catch? Uh, kid, maybe. There we go. Let's put a banana shed in, why don't we? Okay, and you are in hide coat, so let's put you on linen again. And let's see here, what were we... Yeah, that's a lot of material to clear. Okay. 
got seven laborers at the moment. Let's throw the priority again. 2,500, 2,600 food, okay. Push come to shove, I guess we can trade these, um, change these guys over to crop fields, but I don't think we're going to need to. Okay, your art trading, auto trading is all set up. And we don't have a need for additional iron, so you can go away. Yeah, students now 19. Have to walk too far to school? Stay in school longer, I guess. Okay, one storehouse built. Okay, I wanted these built before this growing season, maybe. Maybe we can get one or two of them built before next growing season, okay. Um, we have tons of firewood, so we can trade if we want to. Hmm, sugar beets. Yeah, let's do some sugar and maybe some jam down the road here. Alright, so it takes perfume, 8 into 3,000 is a lot of math. So why don't we think 350-ish. Yeah, close enough. And 50 firewood. And you can go... Hmm, let's remind myself of what we have here. Flax, corn, banana, strawberry, tomato, sugar beets, blueberries, and rice. Okay. <clears throat> so we don't have much in the way of orchard seeds, so... Probably good that we're not building orchards at the moment. Ah, that's... that's Let's check fishing docks here. This one was actually built slightly ahead of the other one. 1635 last year. And this one was... 2847 last year. So that's 700 per... 712 roughly. And this one would have been... 500 and... I don't know, let's say 60. Alright, so that season anyways, this one blew the other one away. That's probably why we're not dying of uh, starvation at the moment. 2,847 fish in one season. That only works when you have a perfect ring, ne nearby storage, and nearby houses. I think, um, I think those fishing docks saved us. Okay, let's have a look at our food graph to see if we can declare emergency panic over. Yeah, it's dipping down again. Okay, I'm not de going to declare panic over until we get these fields going. So speaking of which, we did have a miracle here. Okay, so our health is down to four and a half. I don't think we have any grain happening. Okay, we'll do labor pickup. Um, so we'll do a cornfield. You know, and let's do a rice field too. And that can kickstart us out on the docks for rice patties and stuff. All right, so that's two 15 by 15 fields. That'll be 3,000 food total roughly. So let's see if we can build these other fields, other barns here. And let's quickly finish up our roads. Uh oh, I think I borked this here. Oh dear. Let's go out. Yeah, I put that in the wrong place. I think it's just that one field, though. Alright. Uh, no harm, no foul, though. Okay. 
Okay, let's fix that arm and that road. And where do we want our storage out here? Probably that's on the bottom, so let's put this one on the top here. Okay, just take a second to line this up on there. amount of storage now let's actually reprioritize this whole thing get rid of you okay, that's a lot of stuff to prioritize but what the heck and I think just to add to the extraneous workload let's clear this out too all right let's see what the traders got for us I think our auto purchasing is working fine, so. Yep, yeah, no need to fuss with that guy. Yeah, if you do auto purchasing, definitely set it up so it does um, on arrival. So then when you go check, the auto trades have already happened. And you can purchase whatever else you want. Okay, we're now in spring, so let's check our fishing docks again. <laughs> 3,027. Awesome. And this guy... 1605. Okay. I'm going to declare this dog set the champion on the fishing. Alright. Now, I said we wanted some... Trees here. Orchards, I mean... Well, why don't we get peanuts here? Probably not an orchard, I actually don't know. Um, that's probably not a great choice. Lots of recipes for mushrooms though. Yeah, there's no, uh, no good orchard choices there. Don't really want to do silk, so... Yeah, okay, let's do mushrooms, it's good for soup kitchens and stuff. And let's do like 400 perfume and 75 lumber here, or firewood I should say. Alright, um, let's look at our markets. I probably should add a couple more people. Yeah, one there, one there. This one's already two, but... Yeah, that's fine for the moment. Let's build these houses for the farmers here. Didn't check town hall, but we probably need uh, a bunch of houses at this point in time. Hmm. Food's back up to 3,300, but... Well, I don't really want to... Uh, I'll let that banana shed hang there. I really want to get all this stuff going. And then start building some orchards and some pastures and stuff. Actually, why don't we pin the crop fields over here so we can see when those come up. We might get some going by before spring here. Actually, you know what really would help building all that stuff is just get some more workers available, so... Let's get these houses going. Okay, stone inventory is at a pretty good number, so let's road up this market. I don't like looking at the naked mar markets here. Okay, and this road actually should be stone. Do not know. It's probably out of stone. That's why I built it dirt but let's fix that up and you I think we're good on most stuff for the moment so we can just send you away there should be a couple more traders to set up but I haven't seen them yet ok 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I only have two builders, that's why those houses aren't building very quickly. So let's get that going. How old are these people? Eh, not super old, so we're not too far behind in houses. And our student, oh, our student finally did graduate, okay. Didn't see at what age, but it's probably like 19 or 20. Don't have your houses too far away from schools would be the rule. Except if you got a big walk like that. Alrighty. Ah, oh, there's a good crop to have. Well, I'm kind of way behind on orchardy things, so let's get two of them if we can't. Excuse me. And they take perfume, so. So, 500. Here we go, orange and plum. So when we do build some orchards over here, we'll have seeds for them. Yeah, our barns are coming up, but the fields are not, so... Okay, those houses are built. Okay, let's go back to our priority on our fields and see if we can get a few more of these things built. And I don't think our road is all the way on that side yet. So let's do that. Let's maybe get some road stuff going here. Just gonna pause because I want to check that trader. I just want to get these roads in so I can start building some more crop fields there. Oh yeah, these are odd sized houses. Hmm. I'm going to figure that out later, I think. Let's go see what that trader was doing. Hey, you look like you're all set up already. Auto trading would have occurred. We're fine on resources. Our banana shed built. And we do have banana seeds, so I can operate that. Yeah, these things are OP, I love them. But don't build too many, make the game too easy. Well, let's see. I did remember to hit record, and I did remember to set the peg timer, so I'm way ahead of the game. Hopefully building those houses would have helped. There should be laborers and... Yeah. Laborers and builders there. Although... Yeah, we only need six builders at the moment, so let's just officially make them laborers. A lot of people micromanage that, but... If a builder has nothing to do, it'll just act like a laborer or something. And we are in spring and we managed to get one crop field done. I'm okay with that. So there was rice and corn. You know, actually our food's not bad right now. So while I think of it, let's do this and that. And that and that. And let's go orchardy thing here. I was kind of panic building farms just for the speed of the crops, but I think our food's okay. I can start doing my mosaic pattern now, so. Alright. And we've got bananas going in that shed over there, so let's go plum. Two people, laborer pickup. Okay, and orchard, orchard. 
Okay, and let's reprioritize this whole thing and let it rip. Um, let's actually check what our official stats say here. Food graph recovering, this is good. Nine houses short, okay. Uh, probably enough housing there for the moment in there. So let's build um, houses out here for the farmers. Um, <laughs> Okay, I don't really want to build any more wooden houses, we just built those because we're out of stone. Oh, we have nomads too, okay. Sorry for all the flipping around, but... That's what I do. Uh, nomads in the sign here. <laughs> Alright, I know the chat is a little slow to respond for you, Grace, but I'm going to let you make the call on this one. Uh, food graphs going back up. Tools are fine. We've got that industry trader, so our basic supplies are good. We're about to lay in a bunch of orchards and farms. Nomads, yes, or nomads, no. I'll leave that one up to you, Grace. But my natural inclination is to take them. All right. I love to hear it. Let's do it. Let's do it. What could go wrong? Okay, we have our hospital over here. Probably should build another one over here at some point, too. Hmm. Where would be a good spot here? Well, let's stick with that theme set. Oh, there's a hunter and a gatherer and everything in there too. Very cool. Okay, this should be far enough away from everything to not cause us any issues. Um, let's get the stockpile in here though. 3 by 10 makes sense. Yeah. Should mirror that over here too. Can never have too much storage, especially when you're clearing off land like this. Um, maybe time to pump this up a little bit. Now, let's build a whack of housing over here. Okay, that's what I was doing, right? Um, theme set. Stone. Housing. Okay, pretty house number two. Do you know that? Which was the one with the house, the porch? Number one. I think that was it. Now let's go back and look at our town here. Pretty house number one. Okay. some on the other side as well too. Okay, it's not really going to line up with our roads very well. Um, this is going to have to be a mixture of housing types, I guess. Okay, let's pump our builders back up to... 16 or so, let's let that build. Uh, 
Okay. Mango. And you're set up. Don't care. Well, our hostel is full. Hmm. I wonder if one of these odd spaces over here would actually fit a hostel. We seem to be nomad positive this episode, so... Or this series, I should say, just because we were the... Jack and Jill start here. Um... I think I'm actually going to put this here. So we'll build a second hostel there. I don't know if these houses have an upgrade path. It doesn't look like it. Okay, there's another orchard up here. So this orchard was plum. So let's mirror, this one will be plum, so this one here will be something new. Citrus sounds good for you. And labor pickup. Okay, we're bringing in the crops here. Only 1288 last year, that's not awesome. That's more of what it should be, 1568 for a 15 by 15. Not as good as 11 by 11s, but I like the size. It just makes it easier to build. And you can do a mosaic and mix in pastures and stuff too, so. I'll stick with my 15 by 15s most of the time. Alright, let's cancel some removal here. And so let's extend this road. Food's almost 10,000, so I'm starting to feel better about life at this point. Okay, that was orange, so we'll make this one across the road orange as well. Okay, that was plum. And we'll make this one plum. Okay, that sure helped with the... Um, amount of people we have as builders and laborers taking that big chunk of nomads there. Okay. Probably killed our education though, but what are we down to as far as educated? Yeah, back down below 80. Our health isn't coming back as quickly as I thought it would. Once we put that those uh, grain grains in. Okay, we gotta check those uh, traders out. But I'm thinking about, while I think about it, that's what I'm trying to say, let's put a herbalist in. Yeah, I th think so. I mean, I was mostly doing the nomads because of the Adam and Eve start. But what have we got for people now? 193. Yeah, we can grow pretty big off 193. I think you might be right on the nomads. Oh, yeah, I know you were asking a question rather than saying something, but I think, yeah, maybe we are done. Focus on getting our trade, our uh, education up and stuff. Because we have enough people, we can grow pretty big. If I had pastures, I'd take the leghorns, but I do not, so I will not. And you there. Um, we can do some country houses if we get a few more. Eh, not that many. Let's up this to six. Yeah, six per trade. Alright, and everything else looks good for now, so go away. 
And we still got a full hostel here. So let's build some of these houses, guys. I think we've secured the food supply, so I'll use the priority on the housing here. Okay, so what were we there? We were rice there, corn there. I'm not going to mirror in the field, so let's go tomatoes, I think. Nutritious and delicious. Now, I think we keep getting animals offered to us, so... Why don't we build the next sort of set here? Throw a couple pastures in there. Okay, and road it up before I forget again. Okay, so this is a crop field there, and it's a crop field there, pasture there, so let's put in the whole mosaic thing, but let's put in an orchard there. Okay, and we should probably put some housing out here. I'd like to build country houses, but we don't actually have that many homewares, I don't think. Evil chickens. Well, the chickens themselves aren't evil. It's the sound they make. Whatever recording they use for chickens in this game just drives me batty. But chickens, I don't mind. The chicken noises. Yeah, I'm not anti-chicken as such. I'm anti-chicken noise. All right, the herbless is up. Um, don't know if we want to trade in herbs or something. Nah. We have the people. Let's put two in there. Let's up our limit to like two thousand and see what we get. Health is below five, so first they're going to use them to heal. But then maybe once we're up to five health, we can accumulate them and trade them. Doesn't hurt at all. All right, now this was tomato. This has got to be strawberry. There's no other choice, really. Okay, and I think if our food continues to do okay, we might put some sugar beets in. In uh, plantations, maybe, and start making some sugar and do some jam. I think that would be cool. That probably won't be this episode, though. I think we're coming to a... Yeah, we're about eight minutes away here. You... Potato. Um, let's do the old 400... ...and 70. And we have an additional hospital over there. So I feel better about the hospital situation now. We have two of them. Hey, get ready to. I'm going to do it again. I still can't believe we haven't had a disaster yet. Like, we have disasters on. I kind of think they've been nerfed a bit in Mega Mod 9, maybe. Like, somebody dialed down the frequency. I might have to go back and play a vanilla game again. I failed pretty hard on that tutorial, so... My pride was kind of wounded on that. Um, let's go up here. And let's actually go... Let's start with a... Yeah, let's start with a fence pasture here. 
Let's start pasture. Yeah. Well, that's happened to me in the past where I've lost like a huge lake full of dock buildings with a, you know, a huge dock fire, which I, I don't quite understand, but it is what it is. The orchard's there. We've got one pasture ready to rock here. and duck meat. I can't remember if there was a thing if it was a smoker, a salter, something dealt with duck meat. I should I honestly seriously should make notes, especially with Mega Mod 9. I never remember the jams or the food preservation recipes and stuff. Maybe that's what I'll do one day, is load up the game where we have a bunch of the jams and food preservation. I saved all the save files, so <clears throat> load it up and make notes of what does what. Alright, now you are an orchard, so we had plum, orange there, so here um, we're going to do mango. Mango. Okay, and that'll be the same for this one over here. So I'm going to mirror the orchards, but the uh, crops will be higgly piggly, or however you say that. Now that's a fair amount, I'm getting a fair distance away from town here, so let's plug in a bunch of houses here. Um, let's build them here. And I think that's still within the market circle, so we can get away with that. School is getting a little far away, though. Um, hmm. Well, if I bring this road over here, I don't know if that left us with another our room for another school. Not there exactly, but could go there. That'll be a little more reasonable. Hmm. We are buying a lot of stuff out of here, but that's okay. Um, I think we need another crop. We've been buying uh, orchard seeds, but... Okay, so perfume, that would be like 3... 312, maybe? And one firewood? Wow. I must have had my vitamins last night. It's a good math day. Yeah, duck in a jar. Now there's pickled eggs, but yeah, there was something to do with... Um, was it the Greek amphoras? The clay amphoras, maybe? Hmm. Well, I don't have a ton of room over here, so what we probably need to do is figure out Okay, this is going to be our industrial uh, agricultural area. Okay, maybe next time we play this, we'll build another um, town center down below the farm stuff. Maybe another two or three layers of farms and orchards and pastures. And then down south below here, we can do a bit of an industrial district. And it actually reaches us fairly close to these mountains. And we can think of maybe slamming in some mines or something there. Okay, so future expansion plans, I guess. I actually wouldn't mind an area for um, expanded coat production, too. You know, maybe some uh, bigger flax seed fields. And, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get some sheep, sheepy sheep, too, for our pastures. All right, uh, housing is abysmal. Okay, 
And you were mango, so you are mango. Okay, and this is bugging me, so I'm going to clear it out. And I should probably put some storage in there, shouldn't I? I should be cycling through those and picking appropriate colors, but... Nah. Okay, there's our second schoolhouse there. That'll help with our upgrades when we do them too. Okay, and storage over here we should do as well. patterns or anything. Okay, and that's pretty much all the fields we've got. And there's the pig camera. Alright, so let's do an end of episode summary here. Let's just deal with this trader here actually for a minute. Ooh, health components. Yes, please. Alright, well let's just deal with that. And everything else is okay. We're not going to have enough, are we? We've basically got 4,064 to play with. And I'm not going to do the math, so I'm just going to do random numbers here and see what happens here. Uh, let's see, 26. 4,056, that'll work. Okay, that's all of the perfume. And... Uh, what, 14? of the firewood. Cool. It's, yeah, but we're going to buy multiple times here. I, it's a good math day. I did that without blowing it. Well, I cheated, but it's a good, still it's a good math day. Alright, uh, we have 211 people. We are short 13 houses, like the usual. Our Clothing is now 100%, cool. Health still hasn't come back up, so we'll have to investigate that. Um, education's above 80. I'm going to leave this statue in for a period of time. But I think we might be done on the nomad front, unless we get in trouble or short workers. And our food graph is back the way it should be here. Alright, so I think we're going to end the episode. The pig timer has spoken.